uh, stepping stone with uh, degeneracy uh, solution. First, how we can find if it is a stepping stone degeneracy? We count the number of rows, the supply row, number of uh, demand, so 3 plus 5, 8, minus 1, 7. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six hennel zawar is there is unit being transported on this route. So like three rows, five column minus one. Uh, so three plus five, eight minus one, seven. But we have six allocated cells. Allocated cells in five to five hold cells. So in order to make it not a degeneracy problem, we put it like an epsilon value, like a very small value, we put it yeah here or either here or there and like the smallest value cell. And then we solve it in the same way. Halina, let's go back to the steps we did. So obviously we start with the uh, unallocated cells, unallocated cells. So um, if we are if we're here and if we are here and the way to go is left, right, or uh, below. And always remember it is um, a straight line. So it's either horizontal or vertical. So we are here. And you always remember the place, the cell where we started, we have to go back to it. So it's a closed loop. And the loop could be overlapping. And there is 90 degrees or you can bend 90 degrees at unallocated cells. And you could come here and then go down. But you can't come here and go down. Okay? So if we're here and we, the only way to go from here is right, left, or down. So if we are here uh, and we, if we come to this way, so we have to come here, okay? If we come this way, so we have to come here. And then if we come here, for example, we come there, and then we come here. If we are here at this side, we have to go right, left, or down. Down, we won't get anywhere because we have to turn 90 degrees. Uh, left we won't get anywhere because we can't turn 90 degrees because it's unallocated cells. If we come here and we have to turn 90 degrees we won't be able to get anywhere. For example if we come here and we turn 90 degrees we're stuck. If we turn 90 degrees here and then we'd either come here and nothing will happen or come here and nothing will happen. Okay so what we have to do as simple as that. So uh, we either we could come here as it is like so it's now it is correct or what we can do like I've written another solution so it's like O1 D2 O3 D2 O3 D5 so it's like other way around O2 D5 O1 O2 D5 here and O1 D3 which is O2 D Okay, but I've written it wrong. So it's O2 D3. And then we count all the number to see if we come back to it and the number is positive. Okay, so if we remove Okay, so if I go back to it, if we start with another one, control P the same way, O1 D4, O1 control Z. So if we start the same way, O1 D4, okay, and we could come here, left, O2 D3, and O2 D5, 3 D5, O3 D4, and then we come back to it here. And remember, this is plus, this is negative, this is plus, this is negative, this is plus. This is negative, and we come back to it, so minus 18. And you do the same like how you do, uh, you do the other ones as we've here. Okay, so we consider the one having the most negative, and if all the values are positive, the solution is optimal. If there is negative, so the solution has to be fixed. We consider the one having the most negative value. Okay, so the one having the most negative value is minus 18. So we come back to the third one. It's minus 18. I've already drawn draw it here. Minus 18. Okay. As in the loop before, like you start with a plus, negative, as we've done it here. Plus, negative, plus, negative, plus, negative. Okay. All the way back to the closed loop. And you consider the most smallest value. You don't consider the epsilon. So you take the, the most negative value on the corners uh, here. So you take the most 
uh, the smallest value, excuse me. So you take the smallest value on the corner here. The smallest value on the corner here is 2. So here is 0 and you add 2 to it, so it's 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. 5 plus 2 is 7. 10 minus 2 is 8. Epsilon plus 2 is 2. 5 plus uh, minus 2, excuse me, is 3. To make sure that all the values are correct, so we have 5 plus 2, then 7 plus 3, 10. 8 plus 8 plus 2, 18. Okay? And the last point, we just calculate those values and we get 639. Okay? Uh, and as we manage to, to lower it from uh, by 675. Okay? If you have any question, please ask. Thank you.